Is there anything today that I ate that wasn't microwaved? The salad. The salad? You fucking donut. Of course you don't put oh, a fucking salad. Then it wasn't you. Sorry about that. You're good. It, your bun? That is all we have is a bun. And the disappointment combined with the long wait is too much for one customer to bear. I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like something else? So you ran out of the fries, you ran out of the bun. This is bad. No. The whole dinner is gone. That lobster's fresh. Even though it died, it's good. It's an hour into dinner service, and the kitchen has run out of its special fresh hamburgers. We're completely out of ground beef. And the burgers that have been served are unfortunately coming back. We got a burger coming back. With no one taking control of the situation. I don't know what to do. The kitchen, and the restaurant for that matter, is in a state of confusion. Dave, could you uh, grab us a package of the old burgers? Sweet sourdough instead of buns? We gotta do what we gotta do. Get them out the burger. They're gonna love it anyway. Sourdough or bun. Hell yeah. I was just gonna keep trying to put the food out. Going back to regular fries. So we started making the burgers on sourdough bread and using the frozen french fries in and the frozen ground beef. Dude, this, I can't serve this, can I? I don't care. Serve me yeah. what? I mean, I, I guess I have to. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. In an effort to make good on the orders, order up, Ashley. A desperate kitchen staff lowers its standards and starts delivering cheap substitutes. Sorry about that. You good? It, your bun? That is all we have is a bun. And the disappointment combined with the long wait is too much for one customer to bear. I'm really gonna try it. <laughs> Would you like something else? So you ran out of the fries, you ran out of the bun. This is bad. No. The whole dinner is gone. Uh, it came, the burger came back. Take it off for check. In tears. Uh, she's in tears? Yeah! <laughs> What is that pile of shit? What's that for? For the special burgers. What? Whoa, hey guys, why is that burger on there, the processed one? John, why did the 86 it when I said take it off? We were dropping the standards just a bit, but we were under tremendous pressure because there were so many people out there that were anxious to try the food. If we haven't got the right buns, we shouldn't be serving it. And what's the point in lowering the standard just to keep it on? It doesn't make fucking sense. Boys, that's got to go bad. Yeah. He's afraid of pink. Sorry. Ugh. Now I got two paper plates around some sort of big meatball. <laughs> How do you run out of potatoes? <laughs> what do they say? It's disgusting. Unedible. Unbelievable. Such a shame because we got off to a really good start, but then standards started dropping. But John and Rick accepted the standards dropping, and they just were happy to send slop. So a real sad ending to the evening, because right now, we're back to square one. It just looks disgusting. Is it always this cream? Yes, it's always cream, right? It just looks like lobster was dead before they cooked it. They're from the lobsters from the tank. You want to take a look? OK. Is he dead? No, I think they're just sleeping. Is it, he must be dead. We keep a good eye on this. You keep a good eye on them? Surely not. He's fucked. Dead. A dead lobster. No, he's gone. Is he? Ooh. What I'm concerned about is everything else in there. They've been feeding off that lobster. Yes. And then they become full of bacteria. Look, that is extremely unacceptable. Dangerous. People could get extremely sick with that. I'll get rid of this right now. OK. Please, Good. can you take that? All right. Love you. Bye. You smell this. It don't smell. That lobster's fresh. Even though it died, it's good. This is my brother. Mike, how you doing? Hey, Michael. Pretty good? Good, I'm doing fine, yeah, thank you. Good. I know you saw a lobster in there that passed away. Well, I try to, we try to check that every day. I was just slightly concerned to see the dead lobsters in there. I try to freeze them right away, and then I make the best from that. OK, you must be busy. Uh, thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. OK. I'm going to serve you right now the chicken and garlic sauce. Uh, what is all that in there, the grease? Olive oil, garlic. We've got a little bowl. We just drain some of that out. It's like they're swimming. Thank you. Oh, dear. It's like a fucking Exxon Valdez there. Too much olive oil for you. You think there's too much olive oil in there? It's like a heart attack waiting to happen. I hope there's a hospital nearby. The chicken tastes 
absolutely dreadful. I just want you to taste the chicken. Just taste that. It's, it's dry. You sound like a politician now. Jay, I'm not fucking around. That's gross. Do me a favor, can you ask your brother to taste that? Yeah. I want you to try this. What, what's the next dish? Paella. Send the paella. The paella. What did Michael say? He's trying it right now. We're gonna find okay, out. Okay, fine. What do you have to say? I thought it was fucking good. I'll tell him that. Have faith on me, baby. This ain't a normal guy. It's a Brit, huh? They're pain in the neck. He thought it was fucking good. Well, if he thought that was fucking good, then I'm screwed. If you're screwed, imagine how I am. And this is the, uh... Paella marinera. The lobster in this paella. Did it come from the tank? It comes from the tank. Would you be so kind to taste it for me? Yeah, no. Badly, badly seasoned. Yeah. It does overcook. This is ridiculous that this pan even came out. Out of respect for your granddad, that is a joke. Give me five minutes, we'll have a chat together. Let's take then, this. Uh, yeah, please. Thank you. Uh, chef, would you like to have some uh, dessert? It's very kind, but I've lost my appetite. Thank you. Because it's sauce. It's lovely. But me. It's all dry. That's disappointing. So I'm anxious to know what you thought. Yeah, do you know what? A bit inside it was dry. Yeah. Was it? Yeah, we just find out when they were smoked. I will. Thank you. Take the Thank you. I'm shocked that Chef Ramsay does not like our smoke wings. That just pisses me off because he's definitely wrong. Thank you. Yeah, what a shame they were dry. The chicken. <laughs> Welcome to Michonne's. Yeah, at least they should be moist. Why would the bed dry? Because it's bootleg. Bootleg? Mm-hmm. They just don't care. Thank you. Wow. Is this this morning's batch? I think that's yesterday's batch. This is yesterday's batch? OK, chef. I have to eat crow. Those are yesterday's wings. Damn. See, I knew they didn't taste fresh. And why are they oh, serving guys. yesterday's wings today? Can't I get today's wings today? I don't know. Oh. Anyway, just asking. All right, are we ready to rock and roll? Go on me salad and all these sides. OK. Let's go. OK. Let's go. It's enough. Oh, there you go. Lovely, thank you. Uh, God, that was quick. Really mackerel. There you are, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That's my uh, smoked chicken gourmet salad. Um, gross. The rotten tomatoes. <laughs> Oof. Where's my lovely lady? I'm right where? here. I'm sorry, though. The tomatoes, they got old and sort of yucky and soggy. I wasn't shocked at all. Thank you, please. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the kitchen? Yeah, they don't care. Um, this, uh, uh, um, mm. the tomatoes, one of them is old, and the other one has, like, a ripe thing on it. I don't think it's a problem, but... <laughs> really? But I'm not a chef, so I don't, you know, I don't know. I think it's fine, but... That's right. Your name is only on the bell, though. Get it right. They look dry. It is dry. Chewy, but it should sort of fall off the bone, but it's just dry. Cornbread. Oof. Mm -hmm. Now that's really dry. Look, it's just like being in the Sahara Desert. Look, it's like a mouthful of sand. It's like sand in an hour at last. You're ready to fuck up all this man food. Damn. They mess up everybody's food. Hmm. Black eyed peas. Wow. Hideous. Absolutely shocking. All right, here we are. All right, sit down. Sit down. 
Okay. Yeah, right. Close your eyes. Okay. What the hell? Do not open their eyes. I don't want to eat that. Our food is nasty. Open up. Mmm. What does that taste of? Nasty. What was that? <laughs> Black eyed peas. You can open them now. Yeah, they nasty. Black eyed bullets. He hit the nail on the head. <laughs> We got some problems. Oh, God, here comes the chef. Where's Al? Dad. Yeah. Come in, please. So this is Archie. Archie. And this is? Terrence. Terrence. Yes, sir. Hey, no, sir. Good to see you, bud. And this is? Terrell. Terrell, come over, bud, so I can see you. And this is? Kelvin. Kelvin, yes, right. Sir. Oh, another chef. Come through. Joe. Joe. So who's the head chef? Does anyone know? I don't do the cooking, but I'm you don't do the No, sir, not the uh, small meat. Something not quite right here. What do you do here? I smoke some meat. Was there anything that I tasted today that was smoked today? Uh, brisket. This piece of shit here was smoked today. No, not today. Not today. Does that look appetizing? No, sir. That does not. When was that cooked? I believe on Saturday. On Saturday, so today's Tuesday. Do you honestly think that customers would walk through that door thinking that you're smoking meats three or four days before eating them? How are you eating them? The microwave them. Microwaving them. Come on. It's disgusting. For God's sake. Is there anything today that I ate that wasn't microwaved? The salad. The salad. You fucking donut. Of course you don't put no, a fucking salad. Than it wasn't you. Guys, I'm not laughing. I'm seriously disappointed. And Natalie, you don't need me in here to tell you that brisket is like dog chew. If my parents named a restaurant after me, I'd make sure that was the fucking best smoked brisket. My daughter doesn't do what needs to be done to get this restaurant back in shape. It's just, you know, I don't have the words for it right now. I don't know what to say. I just fuck it out. I'm lost for words.